Hello everyone and welcome to our I Pick My Butt video bringing you a new game today and this one's called Tiny Island Survival and this is a definite worth playing. I played this for about six hours last night, played it from start to finish. There will be updates so it was kind of left on a cliffhanger but this game is a ton of fun. The sole purpose on it was meant to be a pixel art game, played on a single screen with simple controls and pretty much play whenever you want. So in this video we're going to be showing you the ins and outs of the game and give you some tips so you can progress quickly. And if you've never played a survivalist game before, the strategy is very simple. All you're pretty much doing is collecting resources to forge new items. And where some can get a little crazy with maybe 50 to 100 items, this one's very simple in the fact that there's four main items that you can forge. The game starts you off with a shovel where you can clear out the smaller bushes. Every time you clear a bush, you're going to use up one of your hearts and also get resources from that bush. Once you use up all your hearts, simply go back to your tent, sleep it off, and then you'll replenish all your hearts. Now the game will throw ads at you every now and then which will actually speed up the process of the hearts and you can also watch ads inside the game to get free resources and gold inside the game too. Once you clear out enough of the land you'll finally unlock the village and this is where you can sell your resources and also get the chance to get an axe to chop down the trees. Progress a little further and unlock what appears to be birds. This is where you can actually trade in gold to get more hearts added to your stamina. Now I know this might not sound too exciting yet, but as you get further into the game, you're gonna start having enemies pop up that are also going to try to steal your resources and collect them for themselves. And as you progress and grow stronger, well, the enemies are gonna grow stronger too and harder enemies will appear. So let's give you some tips so you can progress faster in this game. Number one, you want to invest in these fences or gates to keep the enemies from stealing your actual goods. In the early game, there's only one iron and silver spot that you can get, and these resources are really needed to upgrade your gear. And having an enemy get there before you and snag it could definitely put you back about five minutes or so. The second tip is only upgrade the items that are preventing you from progressing in the game. You see there's four items and all of them can be upgraded to a point and some of them don't actually need to be upgraded to their max level which means you could save the resources and put them towards something else. And if you're unsure when to upgrade the game will give you indications like right here. We need a level three pickaxe to open that up. And the third tip, whenever you see the chest down the bottom right, make sure you're clicking that and watching the 30 second ad. Yes, the ads are annoying, but the amount of resources or gold that you may get from them is going to get better every time you watch one of those ads. In the late game, this can easily save you up to an hour of farming resources. The fourth tip is whenever you get the chance, try to sell your resources and buy more hearts. Surprisingly, having more hearts means longer you can go without going back to the tent, and as you progress further in the game, it's a long trip back. If you do make it far in the game and you don't want to make that long trip back, just go and die, watch a 30 second ad, and you'll spawn up right next to your tent. And the last tip I have, when trying to get to the end boss, instead of going and trying to fight every single enemy and losing hearts, just simply click on the stairs and you can skip right past them to get all the way to the end. Overall though, I had a lot of fun with this game and I can't wait for the next update. I really suggest you guys give it a try because I think you're going to enjoy it too. But let me know what you think of the video. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and remember, I pick my butt.